right? Shalom. Wanna give all praises to Yahweh, but Hashem Shai. Give double honor to the apostles of great mercy not rule well. Salutations to the men of the hope land since I left. Alright, this Mac is off from the Trinidad camp. Just want to do a little edification for the elect's sake. Alright, and the name of the video will be Desire. Alright, the things that we really desire being in this truth. Alright, because when you look at, well, us as men, the men of GMS, men of Great Millstone, the men that call upon the name Yahweh Hashem Shai. Alright, our desire really and truly is righteousness. When they look at the world, their desire is worldly things. But our desire, going back to Colossians 3, is where Yahweh Shai is, where our husband is. Because when when a wife has a husband and you know probably the husband gone to war, her heart will be longing after her husband. Just like they showed you in um the book of Tobit when Tobias went to get the money from um I believe it's Raguel. Alright, and he stayed more than the appointed time or the, des the designated time or the estimated time where he would have reached back. His mother started mourning and, and, and was sorrowful because she thought something happened. She just wanted to be near her, her son. And it's the same way if, if it was her husband, she would have been the same way. Now guess what? We as the wise of Yahweh Shai, our desire is just to be with Yahweh Shai, be with the Lord, what the scriptures say that there is no unrighteousness in him. So we just designed to be with the Lord where we could be righteous. Pursuing to Isaiah chapter 60, it says that people shall be all righteous. Isaiah 60 and 21. And we designed our righteousness. We designed where we do have to be here in this oppressive state. Every day is a different headache. Bills. Your, your wife getting in trouble. Your, your, your family, your children, your work. Everything is just problems. All right, It's just oppression. And we designed to be away from that. All right. Now the scriptures say, "Warn to you that desire the day of the Lord." All right. To what end is it to you? Now, as much as you design the day of the Lord, guess what? You have to make yourself prepared for the coming of the Lord. Yahweh Shai. All right. So let me do talk to much. We just get straight into the scriptures. This is Isaiah 26 verse 8. It says, "Yea, in the way of thy judgments, O Yahweh, have I waited for thee." So we waiting in the in the way of judge of the Lord's judgments. So pursuing back to Amos 5 and 18, it says, what end is it to you? We try our best to be in the judgment with, with, within that grace of the Lord. We we in out we in walking outside the light. And we waiting patiently on the Lord. It says, the desire of our soul is to thy name. I want to look up the word desire. One of the words for it is a longing for. So we longing for Yahweh Shai. We longing for the Lord to come and take us out of here. That is why we do what we do. That is why we we diligent in, in, in pushing this word. In cursing out Esau. Prophesying against America. Prophesying about Esau's kingdom. Alright, because our desire is to leave this place. We don't want to be here. The scripture said we wept when we remembered Zion. Alright, scripture also said there is a knowledge that increased sorrow. Learning that you are Hebrew Israelite brings sorrow and joy simultaneously. Alright? Because you know that you are Hebrew, but then when you're looking at the situation that you're living in, you, you it, it brings sorrow, it brings grief to see that dogs have come past us. Alright? Verse 9, it says, With my soul I have desired thee in the night. So yeah, so with our soul we desire the Lord. So we in design the Lord with our mouth. The scripture said they honor him with a mouth. The scripture said what we desire him with our soul. The inward man cried out to Yahweh Shai that we, we, we don't want to be here. Our desire is to be with Yahweh Shai. We would be righteous. We wouldn't go off no more. We wouldn't have to see oppression no more. We wouldn't have to see servants upon horses anymore. Where we, we women wouldn't be running the big mouth anymore. That is what we're looking for. Peace, rest. 
all right it says with my spirit within me will i seek thee early before the evil days come for when thy judgments are in the earth the inhabit the inhabitants of the world will learn thy righteousness i'm pursuing to habakkuk 224 or 214 my bad it says that the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the Mosai. And that is the day we're looking forward to when all our people will be righteous. We wouldn't see niggas anymore in homosexuality, all this bullshit, people worshiping idols. All right? We wouldn't be seeing that anymore. So that is our desire. We ain't just going out and preaching this word. You know, that. And, and that is it. Now, nah, we're preaching this word that we could, that at the end, we could ab obtain salvation and leave this place right this is psalms 27 verse 4 it says one thing have i desired of yahweh that i will seek after all right so as i said some men seek after money some men seek after cars some men seek after houses women wherever the case is but we seek after the name yahweh shem and and his and his glory and his righteousness that is what we seeking after that's supposed to be a desire in this truth. The thing that you're longing after. The thing that you're lusting after. To be with Yahweh Shai. That's supposed to be the desire of your heart. The main thing that you're desiring. To prove it. Running back to the scripture with Solomon. Solomon had all glory in front of him. And what was the thing that Solomon's heart desired? Was wisdom. To prove that he desired wisdom from within the most I approached him in a dream and in the dream he said he desired wisdom so somebody might ask you a question face to face and you might answer to that person liking but guess what if the Lord was to approach you in a dream and ask you the same question your answer might not be the same right so that just to prove that solomon truly desired wisdom he desired lord yahweh shem yashai above all things and that is how we're supposed to be this is psalms 27 verse 4 it says one thing have i desired of yahweh that i will seek after that i may dwell in the house of yahweh all the days of my life to behold the beauty of yahweh shem yashai and to inquire in his temple and the student in the scripture said he made us a nation of priests. So we're going to be able to inquire at this temple once we hold fast to this truth. Alright? We want to dwell in the house of Yahweh Hashem Shai. The scripture said, blessed is he that enter into the gates of the city. That is where we want to be. We want to enter into, in, into, into that city. Alright? That is where we want to be. Alright? This is Psalms, Psalm 17, verse 15. It says, As for me, I will behold thy face in righteousness. I shall be satisfied when I awaken thy likeness. So we want to be in that spiritual body where we wouldn't go off no more. We wouldn't have these unclean thoughts and unclean spirits plaguing our minds, telling us to do this, making us believe that we really want to do this, which it, it, it contrary to scriptures. So you know, a wise man will realize that just Satan messing with his head. So he wouldn't have to be fighting that battle with ourselves anymore. And that is peace. Because really and truly, being in this flesh is insanity. Wanting to be in this flesh is double insanity. When you really understand the, the troubles of this flesh. Scripture said he will have trouble in his flesh. When you understand the troubles of this flesh, guess what? You really want to be out this flesh. You don't want to be in this flesh. Alright? You don't want to be in this flesh. You want to be in the likeness of the Lord. Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Alright? This is Philippians chapter 1 verse 23. It says, this Paul here. It says, Philippians 1 verse 23. It says, For I am in a strait betwixt two. Having the desire to depart and to be with Mashiach, which is far better. So Paul's saying, hey, I want to just die and be with Yahweh Shai. That way better than being in this flesh. That was Paul's desire. Paul's desire was not multitude of breakdowns or, or women. All right? Because women like to see men with knowledge. All right? Or to have a thousand men 
you know say that i am of paul nah that wasn't paul desire paul desire was to be with yahweh by shem Shai. the scripture said better is blessed he is, is so that he that died in the lord that is our desire to be with the lord that's supposed to be your greatest desire not to be in this flesh all right not to be in this flesh because this flesh is dead we want life right now we're dead we want life which coming with Yahweh Shai, the son of healing, in his wings. That is what we want to be with Yahweh Shai. That is our desire to be righteous, to not go off anymore. That is the kind of life we want to live. Not just to live here on scrums, thing that you're financially stable, but then the RFID chip coming, martial law coming, World War Three coming, prophecies for so then we want to be here for all right that is why we do what we do because we see the prophecies coming so our desire is soon to be fulfilled and to show that that is our desire the lord said give all diligence all right is the final scripture here this is second peter chapter 3 verse 13 it says nevertheless we according to his promise look for a new heaven and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness so that is our desire a, a place where everything would just be in order in unison with each other that is what we're looking for a new heaven and a new earth where we could breathe clean air and eat clean food pure food drink pure water for once in our life because i don't think any of us ever did that Breathe clean air and drink pure water and eat pure food. That is what we're looking forward to to get out this white man empire, this crooked empire. Verse 14 it says, Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. So above all, ye desire to, to be with Yahweh Shai. Make sure that at the end of that day, you're on the good side with Yahweh Shai. Alright? And not on the left with the goats. We're going to cast aside. But to be part of his flock, his sheep, his 144,000, which will enter into the gates of the city. Alright? We want to be in, in, in that likeness. So that is our desire. Alright? So until that day, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Give double honors to the apostles of great millstone that rule well. Salutations to the men of the whole land, since they elect this Makazah saying Shalom.